Good afternoon. It is 1.17 p.m. on Wednesday. It is about 7 degrees Celsius today. Oh, it's kind of... Well, it's overcast, let's be honest. I mean, it's bright as fuck out, but it's it's cloudy. Ooh. How is everybody doing today? Anybody who happens to be watching. I am having another day of pure exhaustion. I'm getting so sick of this shit. Excuse me. Ooh. I got to bed late last night. It's my fault. <laughs> I got watching... Um, reruns of Dragula last night and I binged season two and about half of season three so it was probably like 1 30 2 o'clock ish before <laughs> before I said well, I better go to bed <laughs> bad gen bad gen but I love me some Dragula, so. And I'm not sure when the new season's starting up. I haven't heard anything. I have heard that in April, I believe mid-April, Shudder should be uh, having the other, oh my gosh, the other three seasons up and able to play again. Um, I've been streaming, there's a, there's another website that I stream, um, Dragula off of. It's a freebie. Um, but it doesn't have, I think it has two episodes of season four on it. And that's it. It's never been updated. So, uh, you know, I pay for Shudder. I would like to, and the only reason I fucking have Shudder is for Dracula. It is explicitly for Dracula. I do not watch most of the movies on there. I find her absolute garbage. So. <laughs> Put the Dracula up. <laughs> Let me get my six or seven dollars worth, and I'll just binge Dracula on Shudder once a month. <laughs> I'd be happy with that. <laughs> but it was interesting because oh my god sorry <sighs> this morning as I was continuing with season three um I just watched my favorite Korean queen in all the world get eliminated. It breaks my heart every time I see it. I hate it so much. <laughs> I'm so biased. <laughs> I hate it every time she gets eliminated. Oh my god. I watch it and I watch it and I watch it and it just, it, it never gets any better. I still get mad every fucking time. <laughs> but I just watched that and was internally raging and a notification popped up from YouTube oh my God. telling me that there was a new upload on Eva Destruction's YouTube page. I get so excited when there's new uploads on there. Oh my God, I love her so much. So, of course, I dropped everything that I was doing <laughs> and put my rage aside <laughs> and went on to her YouTube and watched the performance that was uploaded. Oh my gosh, she's so good. She's so good. I was instantly happy. Instantly. Like, I could give a fuck what else is going on anywhere with anything. I don't care. I'm tired. Don't care. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. Fucking my bitch uploaded. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Makes me so happy. <laughs> I was sitting there raging about when I knew what was going to happen because I've seen all of the seasons so many times. But I rage about that one every fucking time. And I was also trying to think up a budget in my head because, you know, it's end of the month. Things need to get paid. Money is always a thing. So 
thinking about all that. Do I go to kickboxing tonight? Do I not go to kickboxing tonight? Like, should I take a power nap? Because then I'll definitely be able to go to kickboxing. Yeah. Because if I go, I want to give it all I can. I don't want to half-ass it. It's not worth it. If I'm going to half-ass it, I might as well just stay the fuck home. So, all this is going through my head. And that bad bitch uploaded and I was like, fuck yes. <laughs> instantly happy <laughs> I was happy before I even saw the performance <laughs> so of course you know I like Eva I like you the video and go into the comments because everybody needs engagement and it's just a chance to gush and I love to gush like I'm that bitch I I I comment on most things on, on Twitter. I follow Eva on Twitter. I follow bitch on Twitter. Like, yeah, I, I'm constantly commenting on stuff and yeah, I, I must, I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm fairly intrusive. <laughs> I don't care. I love it. <laughs> it's all out of love. I'm not stalking you. I'm not weird, not creepy. I just love you. You make me happy. <laughs> And I commented on her performance, of course, you know, like, <clears throat> got to drive up everybody's engagement. And, you know, I was like, man, like, true story. Nobody picks me up out of a shit mood than watching you perform. Like, I'm just so happy right now. Like, I was in such a bad fucking mood <laughs> because I was watching a bad part of Dragula. <laughs> Relay Brothers. Ah. I can't believe you did that. You did my girl dirty. It's okay. I love you guys too. I forgive you. <laughs> and uh, it's true. It's, it's, it's so funny how, you know, watching a performance for me makes me so goddamn happy. So goddamn happy. Oh my God. And, you know, somebody was telling me a little while back, <coughs> we have uh, drag performances in my town every now and again. Um, I'm a little iffy on going to them. I've been to one in this town. And the performers were excellent, don't get me wrong. I filmed almost the whole damn show. I, I have it on my phone. I watch it from time to time. It makes me so happy. I love it. I got a lap dance from one of them. Oh, my God, I could have died. <laughs> like oh yes I love a good lap dance like fuck yes and it was such a good time the performances were the performers were awesome like hands down they were they were fantastic the venue sucked ass it, it was horrible it was in a shitty part of town it was in a basement like the venue was horrible it was actually dangerous to the performers it was not cool um, and every time I get an email, because I'm on the email list, um, it's usually either um, at the same venue in this town, and I will not go there ever again, um, or it's in um, London, <laughs> which I can't get to. And I don't have any friends that would be willing to go to London for a drag show. I would. If I wasn't afraid of driving on the on the highways and stuff, a bitch would be in London so fucking fast. <laughs> I would get a hotel room or whatever for the night because I don't like driving at night. My night vision is horrible. Bitch has astigmatism. It's it's not a good time. I can't see. <laughs> I would have Boo Boo take care of monkey. If it was during the week, if it was on the weekend, monkey be at his dad's. It's all good. And I would drop everything and fucking be there. <laughs> I love, I love, love, love a drag show. I love a drag show. I love a burlesque show. I love strip joints. I love all that stuff. I love it. I don't care if it's men, if it's women. I don't care. I love all of it. <coughs> I was talking to my brother, uh, oh, I don't know, a few weeks back, I guess. 
he was going on about um, his buddies um, wanting to take him to a to a strip joint for his bachelor party, and my brother's kind of against it. Um, and I was like, why? Like, we are not the same. <laughs> I love a good strip joint. <laughs> the seedier ones, yeah. I mean, they're all a good time. They are what they are. But if you can get yourself into a classy strip joint, I don't know if it still is now. I have, I have never been, but there used to be a place in Toronto called the Airport Strip. And I remember, well, I was living out on my own, but I remember my mom telling me when I got older, um, probably in my late 20s, early 30s. My mom telling me about going uh, with a bunch of her friends to the airport strip. And she's like, and you had to dress for it. Like, it, it you it, you did not go to the airport strip in jeans and a t-shirt. Or, um, you know, you went, you dressed up. It was a thing. And... Uh, I remember my mom telling me, uh, and it, it blew my mind because my mom never struck me as somebody who would, she would go like if friends were going and it was a thing, she would go, but she didn't strike me as somebody who would enjoy that kind of entertainment. And I guess I was really wrong. <laughs> she said she had a great time. It was very, you know, like I said, you had to dress for it. It was, it was fancy. And, uh. Yeah, she said it was really, like, a really good time. She really enjoyed it. But she didn't like going to, like, you know, your smaller, shadier, kind of run-down-looking places. I don't care. I oh, I prefer the nicer ones, of course. But <clears throat> I don't care. Strip joint is a strip joint is a strip joint. Let's go. Giddy up. We ride a dawn. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> I love all that stuff. So when my brother said he didn't want to do that, I was like, wow. Why? I mean, if you're going to go through all the bullshit of getting married, okay, uh, do you? I think marriage is a waste of fucking time. Live in sin, okay? It's the same goddamn thing, but when it falls apart, it don't cost you double what it costs you to get married, okay? Just saying. <laughs> but do you? But if you're going to go through all that bullshit, have your fucking bachelorette party. Have your fucking bachelor party. Everybody go to a strip joint. Everybody get dirty. Get nasty. Do your hooter shooters. Get a fucking lap dance. Make an ass of yourself. Have a great fucking time. Like, come on. Come on. <laughs> when I got married, I never got any of that. I never got a, a, a party. Like, we, well, I was also pregnant. <laughs> I was not happy. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, I always wanted to do the, oh fuck, I would, like not the bar bouncing, but like from strip joint to strip joint, shit, that'd be awesome. Oh hell yeah. Get one of those limo bus thingies or whatever the hell and just go from joint to joint to joint. Yes. That is what I would do. <laughs> I would go watch the men. I would go watch the women. Like we're going to do a little bit of both. Fuck yeah. We're just going to get them all in there. I love burlesque. Done properly, it's fucking gorgeous. I love it. I love it. I love it. Love all of it. Oh my god, I love it. So nice. So pretty. This shit is hot. <clears throat> I got really excited there. <laughs> uh, but we don't have any of that here. Everything we have here is like garbage. Like it's just really dirty, nasty, run-down, low-end, you know. The performers are good at the one. I've only been to the one club here in this town. And the performers were good. They happened to be men. They were really, really good. Super professional. Actually, there was a bridal party there that night. All up in Pervro. Uh -uh. And, like, grabbing the guys. Like, the one guy was like, I mean, he had like scratch marks all down his back from these bitches. I'm like, what? Like, you're not supposed to touch. <laughs> like, respect the people performing. Like, what? 
me come to your job and fucking scratch you all the shit. See how you like it. Fuck. <laughs> like, I couldn't believe that shit. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> if it was, if that was the women and the dudes were pawing them like that, the bouncers would have them beaten bloody and out on their ass. Fuck's sakes. Why do the men have to put up with that shit? That's not right. That's not right. And, and dude was pissed. Like, vis visibly pissed. Yeah. <laughs> he was a big dude. <laughs> he was my favorite of the night. I, I was following him around all night with my eyeballs. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, it was. That was the craziest thing I've ever seen at a strip club. Holy shit. Yeah, those girls were nasty, man. They should have been thrown the fuck out. You don't, you don't, you don't claw, you don't claw the entertainment. Holy fuck. And it's not like I was sitting like right there or anything. I was, I was a couple rows back. I was, I wasn't sitting in per row. I wanted to, but them bitches were taking up the whole damn thing. I was a few rows back and I could see claw marks all up and down this guy, down his back, down his side. Like, really? Come on, man. That's not cool. Get over yourself. Dirty bitch. <laughs> like, fuck. <laughs> <If> you... <laughs> oh my god. The double standard. The double standard. I'm telling you. <laughs> These poor guys. <clears throat> you know, trying to do a job, trying to make some money. You know, they're they're grinding, they're hustling. And they're fucking getting clawed all the rat shit, like by some crazy drunk bitch. But whatever. Respect your entertainers. He. <laughs> now I don't have anything specific to talk about today. I was just, yeah, I was just watching the Dragula and. <sighs> God, I love that stuff. It makes me so happy. It makes me so happy. wind is really starting to pick up. Holy crap. <clears throat> Quasi. Quasi. Well, I think I'm going to bounce. I folded a whole crap ton of towels this morning while I was watching the Dragula, so I got to go put those away. And, uh, I think I may just take a power nap because I really want to go to kickboxing tonight. I'm going to do my sign off, but <clears throat> um, if I go to kickboxing tonight, I may continue this. So if you're seeing the sign off now, I didn't continue the video, obviously. If it continues, I went to kickboxing tonight <laughs> and decided to continue the video. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Anywho, <clears throat> anybody watching, thank you. I appreciate you. Take care of yourself, and we'll talk later. <laughs>